the hazard for photo reckon. As a survival enthusiast, it was inevitable to notice hazard 4 among the companies of high quality equipment. The company specializes in bags of military grade for civilian use. In fact, the same name hazard 4 is derived from the risk levels, being 1 the lowest, 2 or 3 the moderate and 4 the potentially deadly. A couple of years ago, hazard 4 released a version of the evasion bag or grab bag for aircraft crew, especially focused on photography among other two variants. They knew the archetype of the design that the Paladin Go Bag had, among many other generic ones that are available on the market. They did not hesitate to develop their own. I was struck that it was obviously better finished than any other bag of this type, and that being padded eliminated the problem that other options present for not keeping their shape. It was never my intention to use it as a photography bag, but to carry some electronic devices safely and discreetly. My impressions were as follows. It is a lot bigger than it looks, and although my aim is to use it in urban environments and short outings, I think that it may be a little uncomfortable to move in confined spaces wearing it. The movement is not restricted by this structure, and the operation remains as efficient as with other cylindrical or prismatic evasion bags. A photo bag is perfect because it maintains its shape at all times and does not print the outline of its contents, so it could even carry a Model 550 cruiser or other shotguns of its size, and the front pocket allows you to carry the handgun with comfort. On the other side, it also limits the noise and increases the stealth. It does not have a pocket for hydration bladder, but the internal divisions of the compartments easily allows you to do one. The molly belts are double stitched, which makes it even more resistant than other weaving. What could be improved in this bag and my own suggestions? For the 2012 model, apparently they changed the orientation of the side access gate to the right side, which I think it was a mistake, because the side window allows access to the bag when the handgun is carried at the waist by the right-handed person. This model is the 2012 one, with the gate on the left side. Interior space is significantly lost with the padding. I believe stronger and thinner padding should be used on the exterior walls. One big flaw this pack has on the interior is the fact that the fleece is not perfectly fitted. So when you attach and detach the Velcro it comes loose. It is a huge mistake in product development. I would suggest using an internal frame or at least a channel for the user to feed his or her own frame. After all, a frame in this pack is just a single aluminum beam or a plastic bar from the top of the belt to the bottom. The large padding of the main belt generates confidence when a lot of weight is carried by long distances. Although there are reviews from users who say that accidentally they had the bag momentarily submerged without damage to the equipment inside, the bag is not weatherproof. I would suggest to fit two things either a fully waterproof compartment or a rain cover, much like the one on this equivalent pack. That will magnify greatly the autonomy of this pack as a multi-purpose pack. I would suggest them to offer an additional molly pouch for the main belt to conceal a handgun. And finally, I would suggest them to deliver smaller padded dividers to use with longer objects inside the bag.